Lynn, congratulations on a wonderful victory. Just how proud to be standing here as our champion. Um, I'm speechless and I'm so happy that I'm at home just to see all the kids and my family's here and, and everyone that I care about is watching, so it's really nice. Take us back to the start of the day. How are you, you feeling as you're about to get your final round underway? I was actually surprisingly calm. Um, I'm, like I said, my first day with Annika was probably my most um, scary and stressful one. Um, but So today on the first fairway I actually told Ponce, I was like, I'm actually very calm. Um, it's very doable t today to play with this. And what about the way you started five birdies in your fast six? Talk us through that fast start, how you felt when it was all unfolding. Just um, happy, relieved, and just kind of get in sort of the zone and, and just enjoy golf for a, for a last day. It's very nice. What was going through your mind when you were out there? It was packed, and you must have had a pretty good idea you were going to win it before it was over. How was, what was that like, handling those emotions? I think I, when I walked up on the 13th green, I saw the leaderboard and everything, and, and when I saw it was eight shots, um, it was just very relaxing to not having to, you know, gear up or I could just kind of go out and continue doing what I was doing and um, knowing that I was securing a win. How proud to win a mixed event, just how significant do you think this victory could be for equality in sport? I hope it's, I mean, I hope it's big, um, for sure, like, just hope that it kind of brings women a bit more forward and um, gets people's eyes on us a little bit more and then it's always nice to say that you beat the guys for a week. <laughs> and finally to do it here on home soil that must feel special. Absolutely and and just to I mean, be able to speak Swedish but just to hear everyone out there cheering for you and um, I mean it's amazing. Many congratulations.